Hello everybody, I will demonstrate you today uh, one test embedded using testing capability and coverage capability. Let's use this small example, this still that compute if a year is BC still or not, and this is the formula to get uh, the result. Uh, so for that, I will use this small uh, C project. I will convert this project into one test embedded project. Let's see that I choose also the GNU compiler. And you can see here that now I have a test node where all the test assets will be put. Let's start by creating the first test harness. Select Timo here and create the first test case. The test harness uh, will include uh, one or several test, case, test cases uh, that will be run during the execution. So let's choose the default parameter here, the default name. Click on finish and we have now the first test harness with the first test case. You can see the test harness that the time the test is b16.c. If you use some requirement tool, you can also link this test harness to the requirement to a requirement. Uh, let's open now b16. Uh, you can see in this test case the code of the test is here. It's a simple code by default we call the function of the test with two parameters, one the input, the other one is the output. And when we click on check, we can see uh, the input value and the expected value on this parameter. So to start, let's uh, set the Y parameter to 2020, for example. So 2020 is a bit still here, so the return value should be one. But this is what I select here. Let's save this scenario and run run it for the first time. So for that, I go into the uh, b6till uh, test harness and I click on the run button that is on the top right. When I click on run, uh, the tool generate code. This code is compiled and linked with the file on the test, executed on my target on my PC and the report is generated at the end. You can see that all is okay, all is, the test is passed, and we can have a look on the coverage results. All seems covered, but we have only selected the default coverage level that our maximum is a statement block. I, have, I will uh, modify this setting now uh, by selecting uh, a better coverage level. You can see here that I have other uh, runtime analysis tools. Let's go in the coverage setting and selected uh, for the condition the MCDC. So the MCDC are the modified condition decision coverage. Let's go back now in the test harness. I will run again the same test harness. So the, we have modified the option for coverage. So we will have more detail on the coverage. Uh, of my function on the test. So you can see now that I have two additional levels. The C is for condition and M is for MCDC. And you can see that it's not covered correctly. Let's open the source code. You can see that some coverage, some conditions are covered in true but until false. This one is not covered at all. And if you click on an operator, operator you have the detail of the MCDC. So to improve that, I go back in my test case and I will choose a set of inputs, not only one value, but multiple value. Let's select four value. The first one will be 2000, that is B16. The second one, let's choose 2001, that is not B16. Last one. Let's choose the third one. Let's choose 2100 uh, and 2020 also for the last one. You can save that. So, this is the input value for the y parameters. Let's synchronize the output value with the input value. Let's so the first one is 
B16 it was 2000 let's choose one second one it's not B16 let's select zero next one is not B16 at all so we also keep zero and the first one is 2020 is B16 so now we have also choose the uh, output value we save this scenario and then we run again uh, this uh, new scenario so this is done we generate the report and we can see the result here it's pass or it's green so it's it's good and you can see the coverage has been improve here because we have the coverage for the condition and the MCDC that are to 100%. Let's open the coverage report. All, all is good. If you click on the B6 seal, you can see that all is uh, green and all the MCDC are now covered. Thank you. Thank you.